Hi everybody, welcome to Mike's Garage. Well, I mentioned before I'm having a little bit of a problem here in the garage where one of the tension uh, springs snapped and uh, there it is there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a temporary repair. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, what I did is I got one of these clamps over at Lowe's, they're like $2.99 and you gotta put both ends of the uh, spring under that, which is tough. You gotta get screwdrivers, separate it. I don't know if you can see it. But you put about three inches of spring through each side and uh, clamp it down really tight. It'll work. It uh, let me open the door about halfway uh, until I get the springs and get the rest of the parts. Uh, one of the cables snapped at the same time. Well, it didn't really snap, but it ruined the end. And um, so I'm gonna have to put new cables, temporary uh, repair on the spring until I can get the new springs. So we'll see how that works out. Let me go get the cable and I'll show you what I did there. Hold on. Okay, as I was talking about the cable, here's the end of the cable. You can see it's all frayed and I can't use that again. This is what popped off and uh, caused the garage door to slam while the spring broke first and the cable couldn't hold it because the other spring's in good shape. So you can see that, so I have to replace the cable. I ordered those, they should be here tomorrow and uh, put those up. It's gonna take a couple days to get the springs. That's a whole nother project. My goal right now is to get the door open halfway so I can at least get the things in and out of the garage until I get around to replacing the springs. Stay tuned, I'll show you how I did it. Okay, bye, thanks. Don't forget to subscribe.